Here we are set to uh, cut the parts uh, match plate for our shaker and I just I trimmed off some of the wood before I glued it together so that the um, just kind of save the bit and it won't really save time because my path is still going to cut the whole thing but it will save some uh, save the cutter on there and what I did was I just I printed out my plan and then it wouldn't hold all the paper so I had to kind of finish this out but I glued it on there and then I cut this out and then I just glued little parts here because this the stems are going to come up a little bit on each one of these so I just glued those on there and uh, got it set up and uh, let's get it started Here it is finished, and you might notice that it's turned uh, 90 degrees. I think it's 90 degrees. It might be 180. I think it's. I think anyway. I think it's 90 degrees from when I uh, started because right after I started, I realized it wasn't in the right orientation, and it actually cut the top of this one off a little short. But uh, I think it's going to be just fine the way it is. So I'm not going to worry about. I thought about adding a piece onto here, but I don't think there's really any point in doing that. So. All right, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's done on the CNC machine. The next thing I need to do is just get these ridges um, kind of sanded off. It doesn't really matter because um, they're going to get finished. This piece um, may not really get turned so much. So I may try to finish it up a little bit better, but it, it really doesn't matter. So, all right. All right, this is our pattern, and I've sanded it lightly. Not really very good. Um, I don't really care because I'm going to machine all this stuff. I just wanted to kind of sand it enough that it didn't catch on the sand when I'm making the pattern. And then I have primed it with some white latex. And now I'm just going to shoot on a coat of primer. Here's our pattern after it's been primed. I actually didn't even put a final coat on it. I just primed it and it's still pretty, I don't know if you can see that. It's still got kind of a rough finish on it, but I think it's gonna be just fine. I don't really wanna spend a whole lot of time working on it, so. Here's our setup to pour. Got an extra high riser on there. I really don't know that I need it, but uh, just like a little security. And I'm just waiting on the furnace to get hot. A little insurance on there.
All right. That looks uh, surprisingly good. Okay. I got one of our castings mounted in the uh, lathe. Uh, got the spider in here to push it out to the edge so that I can get to the, all faces of it. If you're interested in how to make that spider, there's a, there's a video out there called Lathe Spider. And um, I'm going to clean this face up right here and this one. This wheel is actually going to be the one that goes on the back that creates the reciprocating motion uh, for the the can to shake. So I'm then going to come back and part it off all right about in here somewhere. So all right, let's get it cleaned up. All right, let me get a, get a collet on here and we'll uh, get this turned around. All right, I got it turned around and uh, we're gonna get this face and this face cleaned up. And you can see I got a pretty good size sprue over here. Probably should have cut it off, but I'm just gonna be careful and try to knock it off with the lathe. All right, that's got that machined, and uh, we'll do the next one. All right, I got one of the castings in the uh, <coughs> lathe. This is the small diameter pulley, and uh, I'm going to get this cleaned up, and then come back and clean these faces up so I can turn it around and put it in a collet. We got this one flipped, flipped around and uh, this is our smallest diameter pulley and I actually want this to be uh, one inch in diameter. It's quite a bit bigger than that now because um, I want it to be as small as possible and that urethane belting, uh, the minimum diameter is one inch for it. So uh, the pulley is going to actually need to be, let's see, I'm going in 150, 300, so uh, it's going to need to be one inch. 300 because my groove is going to go down a little below that so all right let's get this cleaned up Now we've got to get the uh, the groove cut in the middle. So let's see if the can't quite get that straight. But anyway, it's about 0.448, so it'd be 224 would be the middle. So if I start right there on the edge and go to 0.224. That'll get me roughly in the middle. And this is just a 60 degree uh, threading tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plunge 150 and then I'm gonna go to the right 
25 thousandths and then I'm going to go to the left 25 thousandths and that's going to give us a groove for our belting to run in. Alright, that's got our groove cut. Alright, we need to get the uh, holes drilled through these. It's going to be a 3 8 hole. So I'm going to drill it one size under and then ream it. Okay, that's got that hole done. We'll do the same to this one. Drill it out to 3 8 or drill it out one below and then ream to 3 8 Those done. All right, some of you may have noticed uh, when I did it, but this is the piece that goes on the back side of it, and um, it's going to do the reciprocating action. So I drilled that out to three eighths, uh, which is wrong. So I had to uh, I made a little piece of aluminum and epoxy that in there last night. So I'm going to get that faced off and get it re. Redrilled to the size that it needs to be. 